Well, hi there, folks. It's a very warm uh, summer afternoon here in New England. I think we're very close to 90 if we aren't there yet. So, anyway. So, welcome to the catalog tour. Let's do a little housekeeping first. Let me show you guys. I'm just going to pull this up. So, if you go to my business page, okay, and then go to events, okay, and you click on the catalog launch, okay, you can, you should see me live there, okay. Um, also, you can click on the discussion, oh, see, there I am, see, um, anyway, and you'll be able to see that I was welcoming you a little while ago, that I put something in for, um, a, a sample that my friend shared with me, and there's some dimensions there. Um, and I think the, um, well, may, yeah, maybe the video of the flourish, Nourish and Flourish might be there as well. Okay. So anyway, that's where you can find me if you haven't already. All right. So, um, anyway, just thought I would get that little tidbit of information out of the way. Okay, so I am going to close this host code out um, tonight after I finish the order. I've had, uh, I had one come in by in person yesterday afternoon <laughs> and I had one email this morning so if you have checked out if you have a copy of the catalog and you have checked it out great if not you can um, if you got my if you were on my email list you could print out the shopping list um, that was in that um, email that I sent or you could just grab a piece of paper and a pen and jot down some things, or you can always go through it on the replay. Do let me know, because um, I was a bit of a space. Uh, life has just been pretty busy lately, and I missed the deadline to mail, to have Stampin' Up! mail um, the mini catalog and the celebration brochure out to you. Okay, so I am going to have to get them to you, either by having you come to the studio and pick them up, by dropping them off if you're local, or popping them in the mail um, if that's the way that works best. Okay, so just make sure you, you let me know, all right? So it's always super exciting um, to launch a new catalog, and it's even more exciting when you can earn free product because of celebration. So let's get going. So you can see all my little sticky notes and things. I've got lots and lots to share with you. And so let's start right here in the front of the catalog, okay? So here's your table of contents. So if you happen to know or you, you know, like, Oh, I saw the gnomes. They're so cute. They are wicked cute. Um, you can go right there. Um, so some, some ways to find those, those big product suites quickly and easily. Um, there's some indexes at the back that'll get you to the bundles and um, the catalog at a glance at the very back. You can, there's a little picture and the name of a stamp set or something that will tell you where to find it so you don't have to flip through the whole thing. So those indexes at the back will really help you a lot, okay? Also these catalog icons, okay? So look for the 10% bundled savings, okay? Um, look for the quick and easy projects. There's a couple I want to share with you. Um, those distinctive stamps, which are um, a, um, a trademark of of Stampin' Ups, we're 
one of the few that are able to do that with the photopolymer stamps and um, you get such a fun beautiful image with those um, lots of um, embedded texture in the stamp itself okay um, so these the icon that says mini that's important to know there's a couple of things that some people have been confused about um, when you see this little icon let me tell you what it means it means that the products in that die set will all fit through the mini machine. Can you use them in the full size machine? Of course you can. If that's what you have, great. But if you happen to be on a budget and want to do some embossing or die cutting, the, the mini machine is a great option. Um, so, and at this right now, the mini machine gets you a free celebration choice okay so this icon just means that all the dies in that set will fit through the mini okay all right so and then also sometimes um, you'll see things that are available both in English and in French okay all right one done okay Ooh. so I did do a, I did jump on yesterday and do a quick um, video of me putting together one of the cards and then I shared a, a picture of all three of the cards. So this cool Nourish and Flourish kit for $39 gets you this fabulous, I don't even know if you can see the whole thing. It's an insulated lunch bag. Okay, it's got a handle on the top, it's canvas got these beautiful flowers okay gorgeous and inside is a kit a card making kit and um, food scarcity or insecurity is an issue facing lots of communities around the world okay um, and so for each nourish and flourish kit that is purchased Stampin' Up will donate three dollars to support organizations working to end food insecurity okay so they're going to at the end of this they'll tally it all up and they'll donate that money to organizations that are helping um, communities uh, with food insecurity and scarcity all right so these are the cards that it makes are they beautiful and no stamping involved this is these are pre-printed but the cards are really sweet really really cute okay so that I hope we can knock this one out of the park you guys um, I haven't set a goal but I should and I I think it would be great if we could um, get a lot of these sold so I hope you will purchase one um, either for yourself or to give as a gift okay all right let's keep going ooh so another great way to craft either on the go or because you don't want to have a giant stash or just because you like somebody else to do the design work for you paper pumpkin is a great way to do that now you can pay the 2350 um, per month as you go and you'll just get charged you know once you sign up at paperpumpkin.com you just get charged every month and that's fine but right now during celebration these prepaid great way to get some freebies and pay for your your paper pumpkin all at the same time okay so a three month subscription is 6750 and gets you one celebration choice for free then when they send you the email with the redemption code you just log in you redeem your code and your if you are a month to month person though for three months you just won't get charged on your credit card because you'll have this okay so a six month is hundred twenty two dollars that's two choices or one of the one hundred dollar choices okay and then a twelve month you save um, about twenty dollars over the month to month plan plus at the two hundred thirty five dollars you get four celebration items four choices or 
um, or two of the hundred dollar ones or you know however you work that out so anyway this is a great time so if you're somebody that does paper pumpkin anyway this is a super 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 time to um, to buy a prepaid get your free celebration stuff and then um, save some money as well okay all right so our first suite the sweetest Christmas okay we we know about those one item number one purchase price get the whole shoot and match this is a super suite okay has one cling stamp set and one photopolymer stamp set and um, two die sets okay so two bundles ribbon sequins glimmer paper six by six glimmer paper in real red and white and this really fun um, designer series paper so super sweet there all right all right and here's those bundles okay all right um, we'll talk about these they're showing us something and I'll, I'll tell you more about those when we get there okay um, remember to watch for little packaging things that they tuck in the corners, the envelope treat boxes, different things that they tuck in the corners. So when you're sitting, make sure you, with your catalog, make sure you check it out carefully. Don't, don't go too fast. Okay, you might miss something and be sad. All right, so we have our Regal Reindeer. We have some really fun mistletoe. Um, there's an embossing folder. Oh, no, you know what? I know what they did. They cut a whole bunch of these and glued them on tone on tone. Isn't that fun? Doesn't that make a cool background? I love that. All right, so another sweet Santa's Express. Okay, how cute is that train? My husband, um, they had a little train that went around their tree when he was a kid. Um, some embossing folders that do fit through the mini okay some cool iridescent things some memories and more these make quick cards or um, some numbers for advent things okay lots of fun and this um, iridescent trim is like um, you could put it on Santa's hat or something and make it 3d it's pretty fun they used it as the handle for this gift bag really cool all right okay so I want to point out these dies okay because these dies um, some of them do cut out stamped images okay in this bundle the joyful flurry bundle okay you can see that there are some open dies that cut there are some that cut actual snowflakes that you could so here's one right there okay but some of the dies these four up here leave the image in okay so they cut but they don't cut the whole thing out okay so see how that so they've layered behind and then lift lifted parts up because they stay in there all right so just so you are aware that some of those dies are like that which is kind of cool you can make some really neat things with them but just so you know, all right, a couple more fun sets and a punch bundle I love because the price point is so good and how fun are those labels, right? So if you're somebody that gives um, yummy treats, this might be the way to go, all right? Oh, yay, the penguins are back. So here's a super quick, fast card. See how they've got that little, little quick icon there all right and so the the penguins are back which is so happy and exciting so here's a card um, and so we've stepped it up so the early one is uh, in the catalog is a quick and easy okay this one has a little bit more so some designer series paper instead of a, a stamped background okay and they've introduced some dies okay here the die the it's the layering um, diorama dies 
Okay, I just got them. So here they've added some embossing to that. They've added a hat. They've added some of that cool fun trim, some of the sequins from earlier, and another returning fave, which is this puff paint. Okay, so really fun. But here's one I made last year. Now the the um, designer series paper didn't come back, but our cute little penguin friend with the great greetings in that stamp set did come back. Now, you will not see the punch in here, but it talks about it, all right? That is because this Penguin Builder punch is in the annual catalog, okay? So this carried over into the annual catalog. So you can find the punch in the annual catalog and you can get the stamp set in here, okay? All right, let's put that over there. And here's another returning favorite. Oops, sorry, one more penguin to share. This uses the Give It A Whirl dies. Aren't those fun? Yeah, maybe I'll do a live using those dies here pretty soon. That would be fun. All right, let's put that there. Okay, so then the next returning favorite, which happens to be one that I own, is this um, Merriest Moments, okay, so the stamp set, and also this hybrid folder and the frames dies, okay, so lots of dies in, in that, okay, and I believe those are here, okay, the embossing folder comes with the dies, okay, so you get, it says hybrid embossing folder, but it's also the frames dies too, see, merriest frames, hybrid embossing folder, so you get both for $39, okay, and then the stamp set is, is separate, okay, so the trick with this is this die right here fits like this. You put your paper over here and then you get, and I don't know if you can see the texture, but you get the embossed and it cuts it out all at the same time. Very, very cool. Okay, so I'm going to put those down at the end of the table. Oh, there we go get those out of the way. All right, so that's a pretty fun thing. All right, where are we at? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if I have something here. Oh, just to point out this absolutely glorious designer series paper. It's just so beautiful. It's part of the Bows of Holly suite and um, just gorgeous. Okay. We'll be playing with this one because this is one that I own. So, you know, how cute is this card? Pretty sure that's either the Granny Apple Green or the new um, Parakeet Party. Um, so, fun. Just stamp repetitively in the background. Add your little greeting and you've got a a darling little card to send and then you can step them up and add more things to them if you want okay all right um, another returning favorite from last year is this painted Christmas designer series paper now designer series papers don't often come back so we're pretty lucky now the the stamp set and dies that coordinate with this um, that were part of a suite last year in in the holiday catalog in the in the December to, uh, the um, I think it was August to to December mini last year um, are in the annual catalog. Okay, so the stamp set um, and the dies are in the annual catalog, but this beautiful paper came back. Probably be adding that pretty soon to a. Yay, my friend Doreen has this suite, so I will likely have a little turn to borrow some of that as 
we'll see about that. It's really pretty though. Okay. Is that a super sweet? I think it is. It is. So it's a super sweet. Two bundles, ribbon, um, beautiful little um, pearls, glitter paper. Does, um, what's this one? Oh, foil. Festive foils, glimmer paper. This is 12 by 12, 12 by 12, and 6 by 6 designer series paper also specialty paper so a lot of gold a lot of sparkle a lot of if that's your thing man this is the sweet for you all right cute little scotty dogs um so i had a friend here yesterday checking out the catalog and she turned the page and she saw this and she went oh my gosh i have to have that so she thinks that the seal and the penguin will have a good time playing together so she's Looking forward to doing that. And I can't wait to see what she creates. Okay, so we have this fun door and die. Okay. Um, kitties and puppies getting into a little bit of mischief. Okay. The puppy thinks he's all that, and the kitty is not so impressed. Okay. All right, so sometimes these stamps get a little overlooked okay so our big background stamps sometimes get a little overlooked and that is often I feel kind of sad okay so this is the snow crystal set okay this is it's big it covers the whole front of a card pretty much okay so I added some snowflakes from the um, Texture Chic or something like that. It's over there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. It's down at the end of the table somewhere. Anyway, um, my favorite way to use those is to use, oh, and I used the Happy Holidays came out of Brightest Glow. Um, my favorite way to use those, though, is on my Stamparatus, okay? So I just figure out where I want the paper, and then I just put it in there, okay? So Stamparatus is a great tool. And now I'm running out of places to put things that... <laughs> that I've already shared with you. All right, so let's see. Oh, and hiding in this corner is the Whimsical Woodland 3D embossing folder, okay? So you get these really fun trees. I took, um, once I embossed it, so this is what it kind of looks like, but I just took some shaded spruce. This is um, mint macaron cardstock, and I just took a sponge with some shaded spruce and just very very lightly kind of caught the tops of those that texture just to show off the trees to you right. all right good let's keep going we are cruising now mm, beautiful specialty vellum paper 12 by 12 with snowflakes haven't managed to add that on to an order yet but so it includes some iridescent iridescent foil and some white flocking so some of those sheets um, have what feel like felt um, snowflakes so that'll be fun to play with okay um, really cool metallic shimmer six by six paper okay a lot of specialty papers this time all right. Let's see. Oh, and here's our gnomes. They are so cute. So they have a one order, um, one price deal. Okay, so you, they've shown you what the artwork is. So that's as how big they are. They will all fit through the mini. Okay. And some of the dies cut out the designer series paper okay so 
that's pretty fun all right I don't I didn't get the stamp set or the dies yet um, so but I did make a stamp I did make a sample with that what did I do with oh here they are all right so let me show you the paper because that I did get so I made this sample just by fussy cutting some of the gnomes Aren't they cute and some of the little mushroom houses out of the designer series paper and I took a cloud punch and used my cloud punch to add some clouds tore a little piece of pear pizzazz cardstock and added a happy birthday greeting fun fun all right so let's take a look at that paper so here's where the gnomes come from aren't they sweet and the back side is this really pretty snowflakes okay here's our little houses little mushroom houses toadstool houses and so we have these fun little scenes and you could easily you know since you get two pieces of paper you could use one for this side and cut out the little scenes and then use the other side for mushroom houses if you want Look at this pretty snowflake paper and lots of little mushrooms on the back side that was a little busy for me, but man, can I see myself using that snowflake paper. Woohoo! Um, some really cute um, Arctic friends. Okay. And then little trees. Nice to make a border. You could almost cut those right there and, and get a, a, a nice border on a card. Okay, some pretty snowflakes on this side in pool party. And... Um, kind of, I think you could maybe do something with that or do a strip of it somewhere or something. This side probably is the one I will use the most, though. Isn't this beautiful? I love this paper. And bright Pacific Point um, snowflakes. All right, so that's the gnome paper, okay. All righty. Good. Okay, so cute and so fun. Oh, and another little returning favorite over here is the, um, that snow puff paint you've probably seen it on a couple of of different cards and things so the one thing if you still have it in your stash before you use it anytime first time second time doesn't matter shake it really 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 well okay you really want to mix all the stuff that puffs make sure because otherwise it'll come out real runny and it won't puff very well Okay, so shake it really, really well. All right. Oh, and we have snowmen because it's that time of the year and we have snowmen. And this was something that I thought that I should have that whole bundle. So we have the stamp set. It's a photopolymer, which makes lining up his stick arms and his face and his hat and all of that sort of thing really easy. We have some great dies. Okay. Some that will cut pieces out and some that are just fabulous. Okay, and so this was a card I made for a swap. Isn't that fun? I love this frame, this die. Okay, oh, excuse me. Sorry. It's been that kind of day. Oh, and another returning favorite, these iridescent um, snowflakes. The wonderful snowflakes are a returning favorite. And um, they're iridescent on one side and white on the other, like flat white. Like, um, so you can actually make them by sponging them or something, any color that you want, which is kind of cool. All right. We are getting so close, folks. Pretty birds. Okay, so then we get into fall. So this is kind of a big suite as well, okay, because it does include 
the new embossing kit. But you can get this kit separate. But if you order this suite, you would get this. So it inc includes what we call a powder pal. Makes for um, collecting your powder and getting it back into your um, your embossing powder and getting it back into the little container much easier. Okay, we've got the embossing buddies. A lot of people were sad when that went away. All right, a brush to brush off any excess. And then um, really cool tweezers, which are, um, so you pinch them and they open. And then you hold something. And when you let go and move your hand away from the pinching part, here, let me see if I can show you. So there's a pinching part here. Um, where they open and when you let them when you release that they they close and hold something so um i was watching a video and somebody used them to help them tie a bow all right if you don't have somebody to give you their finger these tweezers will help you do that so if you don't have them from a toolkit way long ago that we had um these are a great tool and you can always use another powder pal who can't right um, okay, so lots of pretty fall images as we're, none of us want to think there yet, and that's okay, you don't have to order this part yet. Just, just enjoy summer for a little while more, right? Okay, cute little witches, some star treat bags, um, which are also featured on page 35, and, um, the mini pocket envelope dies to make these little cute pockets and they use the black and white 12 by 12 um, designer series paper cute little witches okay more Halloween things if you're into that this is probably the the one that I will get this bewitching bundle it's got a great price point at $34. The hats are really cute. Love the, the boots. Love how you can do a hat and some boots and make a really cute thing. How cute are these little treats with these treat bags? Those are in the annual catalog, I think. So they hold a little, little treat and they have a window so you can see what treat is in there. And, um, and then there's the punch that can... Um, punch out so it punches out stars it punches out the little band and um, and the hat okay um, also up here they did it again they hit it up here in the corner the glitter washi tape comes in old olive in black in Highland Heather and in pumpkin pie so you get one you get four rolls one of each of the colors and I thought that was a really cute card background and it uses that black and white it uses the this designer series paper and then added the glitter washi tape so I thought that was really fun all right gingham cottage suite really cute lots of beautiful plaid designer series paper and that's um, 12 by 12 all right um, a way to make cute little boxes for the holidays and the way that these boxes are designed you don't even need adhesive they just lock together with the tabs and you could use them to um, to make little advent gifts you know, and number them, or some kind of a scavenger hunt and number them. Really fun. Gold Shimmer Ribbon is a returning favorite, so that's great. Okay, so here is this Ringed with Nature bundle. Okay, so you have the tree and you have lots of um, great uh, sentiments and things, and you've got these great dies. And this is another one of those hybrid embossing folders. Okay, so when you get the, um, if you get the whole bundle, you get 
the embossing folder and the die that, that cuts all of those embossed rings, or you can just get the embossing folder with the dies. Okay. Um, so again, your, your die fits in with your folder and it will cut and emboss all at the same time. And that coordinates with one of the designer series papers in the celebration uh, catalog. And I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so Vintage Christmas. This is where I got that greeting on my snowman card. A very Merry Christmas to you. All right. And... Okay, so I joined a really cool um, Create Online. They had lots of beautiful samples, and I have them all cut for and everything. I just haven't made them yet. I will. I will. Anyway, this is a suite. There's um, some really fun pieces to that suite. A beautiful uh, soft sea foam ribbon and a beautiful um, bunch of open leaf trinkets. Those, if you're a jewelry maker, those would make really cute earrings or t fun to tie on a, a package or tuck in a card or something, especially when you're not planning to mail, but handing to somebody with a gift, okay? And the paper is beautiful. All right, so here's the dies. Here's the stamp set, okay? And this paper is all foils, and it just, just is gorgeous, gorgeous paper. I'm cognizant that we've been here quite a little while, so I'm not sure I will get that all out. One side is foil and one side is not, okay? So just so you know that. Okay, so this one was one I was thinking, hey, that's kind of cute. It's called the Celebrate with Tags Bundle, the Celebrate with Tags Stamp Set, okay? And you can go, you can do Christmas, Valentine's, birthdays, and those are are occasions when we give little gifts where we might want to have um, a tag on something, okay? So you've got the tag dies, there's some little birthday candles, the balloon that will cut that out, there's some um, banner ones that, that cut these out, okay, the mitten gets cut out, there's a fun circle with some stitching, just a great thing. All right, so I did get this one, and it is right here. Oh, and did you get a sneak peek at the black and white straight dress I'm wearing today? Anyway, all right, so very best occasion stamp set. Okay, it's a cling set. And then we've got a new trio punch, okay? So it... Uh, let's see, did I take all of the cardstock off of my table? Sometimes I just have scraps kicking around, but I don't see one here. Wait a minute. Could have lied. Hang on. Uh, all right, I know what that was from. It's okay. I, I know where there's more cardstock. All right, so let me just show you what these do. And this is this type of punch is the one kind of punch that I don't recommend holding it upside down. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do this one first, so you can see it just cuts off the corner. Okay, so that's what they're showing you is it cuts off the corner, so you get a a straight corner. So you could make something that looks like a tag, like a layer on a, on the front of a card could look like a tag. Okay. This one, this one you have to be a little bit careful of if you're going to make a, um, yeah, I'll just show you this way. All right. So it cuts out that little piece. Okay. So you get this. 
but you do have to play with it a little bit because as you go around to make a label with this, you have to flip it sometimes in order to get it to, to line, to have the same part. Um, like see down here. No, it's not going to, I need a smaller piece. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go here, see how this is notched in and this is rounded. So on one side or the other, I have to flip it so that you can get matching corners. Okay. So whichever way you like it best is fine. You just have to flip the cardstock over. And I would try it a couple of times and just play with it until you get what your the desired thing. And then once you know what to do, you're all good. Okay. All right. So here's where we start the bundle. So you can, you know, the index so you can see. Okay. Scotty Dog, yeah, where am I going for that? Oh, right, I'm going to page 34. And then you can, and this sample is, pardon me, this sample is different than the samples on page 34, okay? Which is kind of fun. So you get bonus samples back here, okay? So don't, don't skimp on checking these out. You'll find the mini that will um, help you know all right, so there's all the bundles, and then we get to, after the bundles, you get to the catalog at a glance, okay? So all the stamps, the embossing folders, the hybrid embossing folders, the dies, so it gives you all of those things to help you so you can, and then it tells you what page so that you can go back and find them without having to flip through the entire catalog again. Okay. All right. So that's that. Now for the freebies, because that's what's so much fun about launching a new catalog when we're doing celebration. So some of you that have been stamping with us for a while may have remembered that a, a few years back they did bonus days. So you purchased in July and you got coupon codes that you had to keep track of and everything to then use to save some money in August on, an, on another order, okay? Stampin' Up! decided maybe that wasn't the best way to go. And they decided that since everybody loves celebration so much in January and February, that they do it again in July and August. They did it last summer and it was a big hit and so yay. All right, similar um, similar icons, but also some with a $50 purchase, some with a $100 purchase. Okay, so just be kind of watching for that. Okay, so another hint about a three month prepaid pumpkin gets you a, is enough to earn a free celebration product. Okay, okay, so both people that have already ordered have already or wanted the hippo. Hippest Hippos stamp set and the Hippo dies. Okay, they are so cute. All right, let's find those. All right, and I have a few samples to share with you. Okay, so here they are. So we have the Hippest Hippos. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. And then we have the dies. I haven't put mine on the magnetic sheet yet. But it, it, so many, so you can cut out the the hippos, of course, but you can give them all kinds of accessories, okay? All kinds of accessories to give those hippos. So let's see what we've got for accessories. So we could just do love you a ton, okay? This is almost exclusively, uh, except for the two dies, celebration product. So the Hippos um, stamp set. This is from a designer series paper option and these note cards. Where'd my other ones go? Oh, they're coming up. I'll show those to you in a second. Okay, 
So how cute is this one? <laughs> Running off to their birthday party. Okay. And having a little fun in in the tub. Okay, so the um, I cut the out of the brushed silver metallic paper, the brushed foil. Cut the little tub. So there's a boat, there's a little propeller, all kinds of fun things. Okay, so your hippo can be riding in a boat on some waves. Your hippo can be in the tub. All kinds of fun things. All right, so the hippos, so fun. So fun. Okay, so this paper is what coordinates with, oh, I didn't even open this one. Hang on. Let me just, quick. There we go. All right. So there's something for every season. All right, let me just pull one of each out and then we'll go through them. They're nice, thick quality paper. You're gonna love it. It's, aren't those birds so cute? I just wanna make sure I don't miss any. Okay. But there really is something for every season. They're just, they're just they're, and the paper is just so beautiful. Okay, one more, I think. Yep. Okay. All right, so we have Christmas and our poinsettias. All right, and on the back, whoops, are the bare, you know, wintry trees. Okay, great background paper. Um, some fun fall kinds of things. Okay, and here's these trees. I'm pretty sure the dyes will cut these out. We'll, I'll do a, a flash live as soon as my dyes get here um, and let you know about that. Okay, cute little houses. And on the back of the houses are these beautiful medallions. I made a card with that. Oh, hang on. I haven't showed you the cards. There they are. Okay. I'll show them to you in a second. All right. So the medallions. Beautiful. Okay. Cute birds. <gasps> Gorgeous for winter. Okay. Have you ever done watercolor and then done kosher salt on it? This is what happens. I'm sure that's how they made this what what became the print of this the original artwork i am betting was watercolor with salt it's so fun it's a really cool thing to do all right fun fall leaves and acorns softer for spring okay so this paper is going to run you all year pretty flowers and this great plaid okay all right, so that's this Rings of Love paper, all right? And yes, see, they're showing here that the dies, so it coordinates with the Ringed with Nature bundle, but I'm pretty sure these dies are gonna cut that out, okay? All right, so another $50 option are these note cards. I'm not sure, let me see if I can bring these up. <laughs> yeah, I know, Kelly. You are a huge des designer series paper fan. Aren't those note cards pretty? So they come pre-printed, and you get these pretty envelopes. Again, if you're a fan of the pretty papers, just buy yourself some white envelopes. Okay, they're only, I don't know, less than $8. Buy yourself some white envelopes and use the pretty paper. Okay, I'm just saying. Um... Cute, stylish sketches, makes it look kind of watercolory. Would be fun for coloring with the watercolor pencils. Okay, for a $50 choice, did I, were any of those other $100 
Nope, the paper is a 50. Each of those are 50. Okay, we haven't gotten to the hundreds. There's one. It's a big stamp set, guys. Um, so then there's this silver and gold 6x6 six six designer series paper. So you've got silver stripes, gold stripes, gold dots, and silver dots. Okay, so you've got all... So that is a fun... Um, and you get 24 sheets of that, okay, with a $50 purchase, a $100 purchase, this amazing phrasing, okay, so the big phrases, and then you can coordinate them, woohoo, you did it, or hey, you did it, or oops, you did it, like, maybe that one wasn't such a great thing, but anyway, um, so there's that, and then if you're a camper fan, <laughs> I, I can't wait. Mine are coming next Friday, of course. They didn't get here in time. Um, but um, these tree lot dies are with a $100 purchase, and you can create all the little... So you can you get the camper, but then you can do the, the add-on pieces. You can make that... Um, the very vintage uh, camper that's shown a lot with the turquoise top and bottom with a white middle. That was a tag along. We had one. Yeah. Four of us, four of some, well actually my mom and us three kids for a summer in a 16 foot tra uh, tag along trailer. Yeah, my mother said, I'm not doing that again. If you think we're doing that, we're getting a bigger trailer. So we moved from the 16 foot up to the 22 foot. You wouldn't think those extra, what, six feet make a big difference? Oh, yeah, it does. Anyway, so really, really cute. And they could coordinate with a stamp set um, called Trees for Sale that's in the, the mini. Okay. All right. And this wonderful world is with a $100 purchase, but it's the stamp set and the designer series paper both. Okay, you get both with your $100 purchase. So let me show you that. Actually, let me show you. I've got some samples. Oh, I almost forgot. How come you guys let me do that? I know. I did it. You didn't. My bad. Let's go back. Sorry. Let me show you a few cards we made. These are a couple of these have are with the note cards. Okay. The designer series paper, the um, metallic, the note cards, the pretty, the only thing I really added to that designer series paper was a little bit of Wink of Stella on the birds. Um, here's that beautiful medallion paper, okay, and the beautiful gingham, the plaid, okay. All right, now we'll zip back forward, fast forward, we had to rewind, now we'll fast forward back here and I'll show you a few of these things. So here's the stamp set. Okay, some really nice flowers. Okay, and let's take a look at the paper. All right, I'm gonna have to do this again. I'm gonna pull out one of each and then we'll go through them real quick, okay. Aren't those beautiful? And if you don't mind fussy cutting, those are those are gorgeous. Or if you are like my wonderful friend Doreen, who just got a brother scan and cut, yeah, we'll be using her brother scan and cut to cut those out. All right, isn't that pretty? Okay, and a pinks, pink roses. Some little flowers, and that's the that's the one that's already out. Okay, so what's on the back of the little flowers? Ooh, more little flowers. Ooh, I really like that. That's pretty. I like that. All right, so we have our pink roses, and what's on the back? Ooh, a really nice rich razzleberry geometric. Okay. Ooh, so lovely. Some iris. Some lilies, a rose, 
and ooh, a very pretty Daffodil Delight um, stripe. And what's on the back of the big beautiful flowers? Because I probably won't use it. Oh yeah, well, that's probably that either that Orchid Oasis. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna guess that that is. Is Orchid Oasis. I don't think it's dark enough to be starry sky. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, pretty green leaves on the back of this one. Okay. And then these, you're going to see how my friend Doreen used these. She used a punch and just punched them out to make them look like postage stamps. She used our um, rectangular punch and then the little um, uh, pink. That might be sweet sorbet or something on there. Okay, so let me show you. So we, Doreen did all of these. Uh, I'll show you the rest of that. Hang on. So this sort of tear back and roll is quite the rage. If you're sending it in the mail, this may not be the best idea, but um, if you're handing a card, it might work out okay. So you just tear and roll that piece back so you can, you've so we actually stamped first, then ran it through with a type-worn text um, embossing folder to give it some texture, and then added the designer series paper on top so that you get to see both sides. Okay, so here's where she had punched this paper with the um, rectangle postage stamp punch. How cute is that with the fern? Um, embossing folder. I didn't even, we didn't even add a greeting to this one yet. We'll get there. This was a pretty one. We stamped this in Rich Razzleberry. Pretty sure. Maybe it was Blackberry Bliss. Used the frayed white ribbon, um, the soft sea foam, and stamped on that. And a little piece of that designer series paper peeking out. And then this was one that we used with the watercolor shapes. And then my favorite biggest wish or biggest wishes or something. Um, anyway, it's a stamp set I've been using a lot, a lot. So, um, But fun how that stamp is tall enough to connect the two rectangles. And we used the uh, stamp apparatus to do those. So, All right. Almost there, almost there. So if you are somebody that has some Stampin' Buddies and you want to gather some orders, just let me know. I'm certainly happy to help you do that. And if you collect $300 in orders all at one time, okay, you can get this perfect pomegranate um, stamp set for free as a host reward, okay? And then there is a joining special, and it's always a good time to join my team, but they're in addition to the $125 worth of product for $99, you get this great planner um, and a stamp set um, to, to, in addition to your regular kit items, okay, whatever you choose. All right, so that is Celebration starts today, goes through the end of August. Remember, especially the consumables like papers and things like that are while supplies last. So if you want it, don't wait. Just saying. All right, so let me dig out that paper with the host code again. There it is. So um, there was a link in the email I sent also that had this attached. So um, uh, people that order today will find a little goodie or will be mailed a little goodie um, in their um, order. If, um, if you don't come pick it up, I will mail you the goodie, okay? So, um, anyway, if you're ordering today, um, you will be able to look for that. And um, if you do do that, please use the host code. If you go above $150, do not use the host code and take those 
um, host rewards for yourself, please. Okay. All right. It has been fun going through these. I have a huge mess now. <laughs> I should just take this off. Uh, take the camera down and just show you what happens when I'm, when I'm sharing because the table is covered with, uh, with all the goodies I shared with you. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. Um, be safe if you're anywhere near fireworks. Make sure you keep all of your ten fingers and toes, please. And um, I will be back with another live on Tuesday the 5th. All right? All right, I will see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.